Hello everyone. Um, this time I wanted to do an instructional video on how to change cartridge save game batteries the proper way. The proper way to do this is by adding a battery holder. No need to solder in the battery every time. Whenever you need a new battery, just open the cartridge and swap it out for a new one. I'm going to do this on a Super Nintendo cartridge, but uh, this should work with others as well. Here are the things you need. Obviously a soldering iron, um, with a reasonably fine tip. Some solder. Use something that's a little thinner than what I'm using though. Needle nose pliers and a small flathead screwdriver. You probably will need a file as well. Use a metal file, not a wood file, like I am. What you also need is a special tool to open the cartridge. It's called a game bit. There's one that's 3.8 millimeters and another that's 4.5. This is the 3.8 millimeter bit. Also a device called a third hand could come in handy as well. You're going to need a CR2032 battery. Uh, you can find those anywhere. And this will be the battery holder. Battery holders you find on computer motherboards are a bit too tall to fit in SNES cartridges. This one is shorter and works with PAL, NTSC, and Japanese cartridges. I have a link in the description. This is the cartridge I'll be working on, a copy of Super Mario All-Stars. The battery still works, but I decided to be proactive. Also, if you do all of this fast enough, the safe game actually doesn't go away. First use the game bit to open the cartridge up. Open the case and take out the circuit board. While you're at it, clean the contacts with rubbing alcohol and some Q-tips. I already did this, so I'll skip that step. Here is the old battery. Turn it around and you'll see where it's soldered onto the circuit board. Okay, now it's time to turn on your soldering iron and uh, do something else while it warms up. Now that it's all warmed up, we will unsolder the old battery from the circuit board. Trying to unsolder the battery like this is a little awkward, so I'll be using a third hand to assist me. Be careful so that you don't tear something up with the alligator clips. Heat up the solder joints and pry the battery off with a screwdriver or whatever flat object you have laying around. Now what we need to do is attach the battery holder, but first it needs a little modification. What we need to do is bend the pins so that they are pointing straight down. This is where the pliers come into play.
The smaller pin can be a bit stubborn, so I used a screwdriver to help the cause. Press onto the other side with your thumb because the whole metal assembly uh, can pop out. Putting the battery into the holder works as well. Okay, now you'll see how the pieces are going to fit. Sometimes you'll have to file down the smaller pin for it to fit. Now it's time to solder the joints. Add some solder if needed. Try to use a thinner solder than I am though. And there you go, that's how to do it. I know this seems like a lot of work, and I know there are quicker ways of changing a safe game battery, but most are so ghetto. What I showed you is a permanent enhancement to the cartridge. Future battery changes are going to be a breeze. Also, be proactive, change the battery before it's depleted. The safe game won't go away. I did this to three games so far, and they all retained their safe game. Well, except for the game I just did for the video. I guess filming took a little too long. But yeah, this is how to change a safe game battery properly. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it.